Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life week 22 and I am using the June Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist. Now I was missing a sort of spot this week. I've got a 3x4 photo down the bottom where I would normally have sort of something a bit larger for a 4x6. And so I'm going to just add a bunch of cards and shuffle things around um, until I've got enough spots to fill up this little gap. And although I hadn't actually sort of intended on having a journaling card, that's how I'm going to fill up the gap this week. So I flipped that lavender card over. I was a little bit gutted to have to do that. And I'm going to have that spot there for journaling. And now I'm just shuffling my photos around. Um, in the end, I wanted those three, the sort of two three by four black and white photos to go with the journaling card. I'm really going to tell sort of one story on that card. It wasn't a great week for my kitty now. Um, um, and so that's what that journaling is mostly going to be about. The rest of the photos are just other random bits and pieces from the week as normal. Now I really loved that little butterfly card, the 3 by 4 one. And I know that there are some uh, die cuts, some butterfly die cuts in this pack as well. So I'm kind of going to use that as a little bit of a theme. The butterfly 3 by 4 card is just kind of random just kind of sitting there uh, not for any purpose of the photo or anything like that not even the right time of year for butterflies to be fair um, but I'm going to use all three of those die cuts and just kind of have I guess a theme rather than a color scheme this week so I'm going to start off by using those uh, using that butterfly card sorry and I'm just going to adhere my photo down there's kind of like white blank spots on the card, I guess, for writing a sentiment or stamping something. I'm kind of covering that up with my photo. This is one of those um, cards that you can't actually flip upside down. It's not a random pattern. There is definitely a right way up for this one. So a little bit of that uh, whiteness does peek out from underneath the photo. I'm okay with that. You can barely see it. And I am going to just stack a couple of stamps down the bottom. There's a little bit of a gap and I think it kind of, uh, it fits nicely these two little stamps stacked under there. So that's what I did. I just stacked those and I'm just stamping directly onto the card with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to use the same stamp set again just to stamp on this photo of Meow. Um, my dad came to stay and he bought his really rambunctious young dog with him. Um, my poor elderly cat was not not particularly happy about that. So the uh, sentiment on the stamp set says yes. There's no though, there's no matching no. It says um, this, this and yes. Uh, and so I decided to use the alphas. I'm going to use the alphas. Uh, yes, no. It was a definite no from her. That was as close as they got. He longingly wanted to just not even play with her, just give her a sniff, but there was no way she was having any of it. Now the same thing applies to this card down here. I'm going to cover up the sentiment with my photo, but because uh, both of these, the card and the photo are both 3x4 and they're going into a 4x6 pocket, I'm just going to washi tape them together on the back. It just makes it a little bit more sturdy and things won't accidentally end up kind of overlapping themselves while they're in the, the pocket. Um, so you're kind of like creating this fake 4x6, but um, it works really nicely. I decided to do something a little bit different and kind of treat this card like it is a 4x6 rather than the two separate cards. And so I'm going to have that butterfly die cut overlapping um, the join there. Um, and it kind of just creates a little bit more movement to the page. And um, because it does look like there are two cards in there, it kind of makes the butterfly look like it's outside the page. So it just gives an extra layer and I really love how that turned out. I'm going to repeat that very soon um, and I'll show you when I do that. But for now, I'm really simply embellishing this sky photo. It's a different sky photo. They're normally uh, sunrises at the other side of our house. This is a sunset. It was really pretty. We'd had a totally grey rainy drizzly kind of weekend and then right before the sun went down on Sunday night we just had this glorious sunset so pretty um, and exactly what I needed I needed to see some blue sky for a little bit so I have again stacked a couple of sentiments there I did one with the moonlight white brilliance moonlight white ink and one just in that tuxedo um, black ink as well 
Now I did just run the journaling card just straight through my uh, typewriter. Um, there's quite a large gap at the bottom of that card that you could stamp or um, add embellishments to. I'm not going to add anything into there, uh, but it did mean that I could just run that card straight through my typewriter, no problem. And like I said, I, I just used that as a particular story um, for Mel and the kind of week she had. Obviously she's in a cat cage there, she had some health issues, we had to take her to the vet and then this dog turned up. It was quite a week for the life of Mel, so she gets a whole story to herself. The only other journaling I'm going to add is just this tiny little die cut piece down here. Again, I ran that straight through uh, my typewriter. I did uh, sort of rough up the edges a little bit with a Tim Holtz distressing tool uh, just to give it a bit more definition off that very busy photo. Uh, but um, we we're starting to get mail again. Uh, international mail was starting to come back again. So that definitely des deserved a little sort of um, statement of its own. Now I'm going to do my title card, there's not a whole lot left to do on this spread. Um, I'm going to use this pink and I kind of picked that because there were um, some other spots of sort of pinks and peaches on this layout and so when I was looking for um, something to put up there I wanted to use something colourful. I did trial sort of a neutral black and white sort of polka dot up there but a lot of my photos, being winter, there's just not a lot of colour around, everything seems a bit sort of washed out and flat and so I really do like adding a bit more colour when it comes to cards and papers in my spread. Now this is where I'm going to repeat this whole butterfly thing, I've got two more butterfly die cuts left um, and I've trimmed out a little strip of white which is literally just the back of one of those papers and again I've distressed the edge just to tie things all together a little bit. The reason I've got the strip of white paper is because the alphas in this kit are pink as well and although I do love a sort of tone on tone, uh, the tones are very similar. I did not think it would stand out particularly well so I'm just giving myself a little place to put those alphas for the title. Same thing with my label down here, I want to have somewhere to stamp my date stamp so I trimmed out one of the um, labels from the die cut pack and then I've added my butterflies. Now you can see that I've trimmed off the half of the butterfly uh, that wasn't was going to overhang the card there. I'm not throwing that away just yet. I'm going to put down my alphas and you can see it does help having that sort of white strip. Lots of Project Life cards used to actually purposefully reprinted like this so I knew it was going to look all right and work um, which just goes to show you can really create your own cards like that you don't have to have them printed just stick a little bit of white paper on there it gives you room for journaling or a title or whatever you could even do the same thing on a photo if you wanted to add a title to a photo or some sort of sentiment just put a strip of white paper on there and it gives you a base to do that now I'm date stamping on this very small um, label here so I did use the back of one of those stamp sheets just as a mask to make sure I wasn't getting ink everywhere. I'm going to add my little heart in and that's basically it for my title card but the last thing I want to do is I'm going to overlap something again so I'm going to line up my photo with my title card, stick on my butterfly wing there and again I've got that overlapping um, element and I just love the way those butterflies look like they are kind of flying across the page. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there are a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys!